Hello students, this is Sonic Pi. So I'm going to introduce you to your first challenge. This is what your homepage will look like. At the bottom, you're going to find loads of instructions for doing quite advanced stuff with Sonic Pi. This is where your code runs and this is where you write your code. So I'm going to show you the very, very basics. So if we play 60, let's just press code uh, run. Already from that tiny little bit of code, I'm already hearing a result. Let's just manipulate that and see what happens if I put it to 50. So it goes lower and 70, much higher. So I'm going to put in a few different notes here and then I'm going to press run. So have a think, do you think these are all going to play at the same time or will they play one after the other? Let's find out. So that kind of works like a um, chord. That's how you would play a chord. These would play at the exact same time. Now, obviously, you don't want to make a song, which is just loads of notes at once, so I'm going to show you how easy it is to put a pause. In between my play lines, I'm going to put um, a pause. So I'm actually going to put pause afterwards as well, just because if I do loop it, I want there to be a pause between this note and that note. So 0.5 is half a second, 1 is a second. So let's listen to this. Okay, now I did mention before that we might want to play this on repeat for a while. For example, you might have made your background music, you might have made a drum sound, um, you might just be playing a song that has a repeat in it. Or for example, when you've written longer code and you want to put your chorus in, um, you can do that too. So what we want to do is we're going to put in two times do. This is going to repeat the following bit of code twice. Now, so that we had lots of other bits that come after that, we obviously need to tell the computer um, which part they want to play twice. So it won't just play this part, it'll play the whole thing. So at the end, I'm going to write end here. Now, what is really good practice is putting in this space um, in between. That means when you have lots of things that are very similar to this, you can um, see what belongs in between this part and this part, in between the do and the end. So let's listen to that now. So that's a really, really good way to start um, playing songs. So there's also a way that I can change the sound effect. We're going to see that in a little bit of time. At the moment, it's just on the synth beep. There are obviously different sounds that you can make. However, your first challenge is going to be to learn the code to Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you the musical notes for Twinkle Twinkle Star, Little Star, so A, B, C, etc. I'm also going to give you a MIDI keyboard conversion. So these numbers that you find here are the same that you'd use for a mini MIDI keyboard. So you can look on there and you can see that G is a certain number and A is a certain number. You should be able to work it out. I think also if you're quite musical, you can challenge yourself just to find the very first note and then to um, work from there. So you'll be able to work out uh, how many numbers you need to go up or down depending on how much uh, notes you need to go up or down. I would love to see this finished by the end of class. I would also like to see um, loops in there. So for example, how this repeats twice. I don't want to see this written out twice. I want to see those lovely loops. So I think you guys are going to be able to do this easily. So good luck.